Hi everyone, for today's review we'll be looking at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Green Ranger. So we finally get the Green Ranger, the OG Ranger and basically this is a, from what I know a repaint from from the uh, Dino Thunder the Silver Stripe version. So it's nothing new I don't think in this figure uh, besides a head sculpt which I think is pretty is is like one of the best head sculpts right now so let's take a look at the figure and see what it comes with so here are the accessories that he comes with the human head sculpt uh, a pair of closed fist hands, his sort of uh, darkness, and his flute that he plays, you know, with his helmet on, which is magical in a way, and a uh, lightning effect. So pretty much the standard um, accessories that Power Rangers are coming with. So let's take it out of the packaging and see how he, see how he compares. So here he is out of the packaging. What I do like about this is that Hasbro decided to paint a shield with uh, gold paint from what it looks like. So I think that's great. So it has a pretty much the same standard articulation on all of the figures. It's nothing new. Just by looking at the figures, I don't know if it's just me, I just feel the proportions are off. But I think Hasbro did a great job on the figures, you know, because it's a human being that's supposed to be wearing a costume. So I give them props for that because I think they nailed it. It definitely does look like somebody is wearing this outfit instead of the super um, heroes that Banda used to produce, which were like roided people so it's a nice change so let's get a close up of the head I think they did a great job I think they Hasbro still needs some work on getting the helmets right the proportions and everything But overall for this figure and what it represents, you know, this is the figure that OG fans have been wanted all along too. Like especially compared to the original Bandai versions in 1995 or 93. So we got to appreciate how, how far technology has come that we, we are able to get this now. And as I mentioned before, this probably has one of the best um, human face sculpts we've seen so far. So whoever sculpted this did a really great job. This actually looks better with a human um, head sculpt than the Power Ranger helmet on. So they did a really great job. As you can see it looks great like this. So the appearance may not be 100% but at least it resembles it. It resembles the actor, so you can say that about, let's say, the Black Ranger. I think it's one of the the worst uh, head sculpts right now. So whoever they, whoever did this head sculpt, I think should do the other head sculpts going forward. And this is how he looks with his accessories, his sword and his flute and the lightning effect. So 
we've probably gotten used to the lighting effect by now. Seems like Hasbro is a big fan of including it in every other Power Ranger figure and Star Wars figure. So, you know Hasbro always reusing uh, accessories. But he looks great. Um, I think Hasbro did a gr really great job. I do wish the proportions were a little bit better. But for what it's worth, I mean, $20 figure. I think they are doing a great job. trying to balance it right now and for size comparison this is how he looks next to the evil white ranger from the comics Lord Dracon I think that's his name I, I could be wrong but he's just a standard size uh, nothing new but he is a great addition to your Green Ranger collection or your original lineup and I definitely do recommend it. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, or let me know which ranger you're waiting for. For Hasbro to add to the line. And once again thank you for watching.